Okay, so in this one, I just took my first step of entering my own data and just changing up the basic uh, app that comes with uh, Shiny apps. So went down here. I haven't changed anything here except for I changed the title to uh, example. I guess I can change that to, uh, I'm going to look at college graduation rate. So I will think I'll change that while I'm here. We can call it college. Okay, I didn't change anything with the side panel. I'm still just going to do a histogram with and looking at number of bins thing. I'm not going to make a lot of changes here. So when I came into the server, within my program, after the curly brackets, I said college equals read.csv, and then this is just a link to a, uh, a, a data set that I have uh, posted on the web. So that's just a URL where that has, the, uh, has this data. I'll put it, so I'm going to render the plot, and I'm just going to let x equal college graduation rate, where college is the name of the data set that I just have here. And graduation rate is a variable that's in there. If you can't remember the uh, uh, names, the variables, and things, one thing, one of the things you can do is I'm going to take this uh, and put it into my console, and I'm just going to run that. And you can see that the data comes up, and it's called college. Now I can do names, college. Now this isn't part of my app. I'm just running this up in the uh, console so I can, if I forget the names, I can look at them right there. And then grad rate, capital G-R-A-D, period, capital R-A-T-E. So X is equal to grad weight, graduation rate, grad rate, from the data set that I just called college. And then I'm going to leave the bins argument alone. And when I come down to my histogram, I'm going to use it for the variable college graduation rate. I could just put X there, since I've already said that's equal to that. But, uh, and then the color and the border. I'm going to give it an X label of graduation rate and a main title of a histogram of college graduation rate. And then I'm just going to run the app. Save. And then there it is. Uh, let's see if I can make that a little bit bigger for you to see. And you can see there that I have, I can change the number of bins and I can see what happens then too. You can see what, if I have too few bins, I lose that point at the top, which by the way, is an impossible value that needs to be dealt with. One of the universities, or at least was recorded in this data set, is having a I think it was 118, but a, a graduation rate that exceeded 100%, which is, uh, well, it's impossible. You can't graduate more students than you enroll. But anyway, that's just the basic, uh, the, the first change that I made. I wanted to use my own data. And so that's the, the first change that I made.